NBA player props here on Price Picks for Tuesday, October 1st, WNBA playoffs here. Before you get started, link in the description below. Hop into the premium Discord, $9.30 per month, 31 cents per day. That is where I post all the plays I'm making on Price Picks. Super, super positive community in the Discord, you guys. Everyone in there just trying to help each other cash. Uh, you know, no toxicity or anything like that in the Discord. So, again, link in the description below for that. And also, I want to talk about Daily Grand Fantasy, you guys. The DFS Optimizer here is a tool that I do use every single day. You can see the current WNBA board. This updates in real time, you guys, because, you know, sports books lines move very quickly. Um, the top play would be, like, Sabrina Ionescu under six assists because on price base, it's sitting at six. Um, but on every other sports books, it's at five and a half. So showing you the discrepancy, right? It, it would take someone forever to go through each of these sports books themselves and kind of line shop and see where these lines are um, to see the value. And, you know, Daily Grand does all that hard work for you. So again, link in the description below using promo code TUFF, you get 25% off your first month um, with Daily Grand Fantasy. And again, um, I will mention this more at the end of the video, but let's get into it, you guys. Two player props that I do like. WNBA playoffs, two must-win games for um, two teams, actually, tonight, Vegas and uh, Minnesota. But, yeah, let's get into it. The first play I'm looking at is going to be Jackie Young, over 25.5 fantasy score. If you were to talk about Jackie Young as a player, this is an extremely low line, in my opinion. Um, for this game here, New York's still going to be 4.5-point favorites. They actually opened at 7.5-point favorites, uh, 163.5 game total in New York. Vegas is down one nothing, and this is an absolute must win for them, right? Absolute must win. And New York looks really good, right? They just look really good as a team. Um, but it's a must win for New York, or sorry, for Las Vegas. And we saw game one. What's interesting is we saw Chelsea Gray only play 26 minutes. Um, she went two for seven. Leone Fibich was actually picking her up full court, just pressuring her like crazy. Um, and then they were kind of definitely trying to limit Asia Wilson as well. So it kind of they kind of let. Kelsey Plum, Jackie Young beat them. Um, and Jackie Young went 6 for 16 from the field. She missed some easy, pretty easy shots. Two rebounds, two assists, two steals, 17 points. Um, she only played 33 minutes. She wasn't a little bit of foul trouble in that first half. But what's interesting to me is she saw the ball 16 times, right? I, I doubt New York goes away from their kind of game plan with her. So let's just say, for instance, um, Jackie Young, you know, in games this season when she shoots the ball at least, like, let's just say, 12 plus times right if she sees 12 plus shooting volume this is her fantasy score lines over here on the left i mean with 12 plus shots you can see the hit rate like pretty much in every game she sees 12 plus shots she's clearing this line of 25 and a half like look at this look at the hit rate on these fantasy score lines and like in games here again she shot the ball 16 times only finishing with 28.4 fantasy because she only played 33 minutes and you know had only had two ra right and jackie young is pretty decently or consistently, you know, a 5-plus, 6-plus RA type of player. But again, if she's going to see 16-plus shots, not saying she's going to see 16, but if she's going to see 14, let's just see 14, right? 14 is right here. This is this season, by the way, 14 field goal attempts. She's over this fantasy score line in every single game this season, and pretty easily over it. Like, she's got over this line in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games, 14 to 14 games, when she's 14 plus field goal attempts, she's over on this line, but she's actually over 30 in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 12 of 14, she's over 30 fantasy points, her line here tonight is at 25 and a half in a must win game, it doesn't make sense to me, in my opinion. Even if we go back to last season, or this season alone, right, when Jackie Young plays 34 minutes, just minutes alone, not even field goal attempts, she's over in 14 of 15 games, averaging 35.85 fantasy points. Right, that's insane. Um, again, this is outlier. There's also a link in the description. You get a seven-day free trial. But then, uh, yeah, 34 minutes, she's over in 14 of 15, averaging 35.8. And then last season, when she plays 34 minutes, it's over in 16 of 19, averaging 34.5 um, in 34 minutes essentially versus the New York Liberty as well she's over in four for the last five averaging 31.92 again so it's a good spot for Jackie Young I think it's a buy low um, for her and I like this spot for her a lot the second play here I'm looking at is just I just gotta go with Nafisa here and a must win um, I was looking at a lot of different plays from this game and I think the safest floor is obviously Nafisa right she's probably gonna play the full game tonight I would imagine Look at this game here, um, you know, Minnesota lost game one, and they're coming back here in game two, favorites by four and a half, which shows you how good of a team Minnesota is, right? We look at game one, they shot the, they shot 25% from a three, 
in game one, which if you go and you kind of look at how they shot, they had the, they're the best three point shooting team in the in the, in the league this season. Uh, they shot thirty eight percent as a team. Um, they shot, like I said, twenty five percent from three in game one, and it's something that FISA is just. She's not really even a three point shooter, but when Minnesota, I mean, they didn't even take that many threes. If you think about it. When they're not hitting their threes and when they're not spreading the floor with the three-point shooting, it affects Nafisa because then Connecticut's able to double, right? They're able to throw doubles at Nafisa. She finished 19, 9, 4, 2, and 1 with four turnovers, and she still finished with, uh, I think, 40.8 fantasy. So she was barely under this line here um, with four turnovers, which is a lot for Nafisa. Like, it's a lot. I think that's her most turnover she's had in, like, the last 15 games. Um so I'm definitely looking for her to just be a little bit more aggressive. I think 16 field goal attempts is too low for her as well. I think she needs to be taking 20 shots. Um, 20 shots in this one, I mean, field goal attempts. When she takes 20-plus shots, you can see in a must-win game, um, you know, she's pretty much 41, 60, 52, 66, 68, 64 fantasy points once you see that type of shooting volume here. Um, but also something that's interesting is, like, we look at her games this season versus Connecticut. Like, she's got two games. Versus Connecticut, 64.2 fantasy in 44 minutes. This game went to overtime. Um, and then 50.2 fantasy against Connecticut in 39 minutes, 25, 6, 2, 2, and 4 blocks. She was the defensive player of the year for a reason, right, for her to be able to rack up those steals and blocks here. Um, I just think it's it, it's the safest floor of any prop from this game um, when it comes to a floor for a fantasy score, right, like the, just the baseline of her attributing to this line. Um, still this season in 36 plus minutes at home she's over in uh probably the 20 24 over in six of nine averaging 50 53.57 fantasy points when she plays 36 plus minutes at home um just versus connecticut alone in 36 plus minutes she is over in uh two of three games this season 64 and 50 40.8 is her only miss being you know game one here um so again i like minnesota to play a lot better as a team um, and I like Minis, uh, obviously Nafisa to be the uh, focal point of the offense, right? She just she she play, she should play the whole game. Uh, if we look at Nafisa this season when she plays like you know let's just say thirty eight minutes, right? Twenty twenty four over an eight of nine games, averaging fifty four point one four fantasy. So uh, going back to the daily grind, you guys again if you're you know on Price Picks underdog, better better picks, boom sleeper. Um, there's plays on the DFS optimizer for all those platforms, right? Like the top play on the price picks board right now for NFL would be uh, Bonix over 174 and a half passing yards because it's on it's on underdog at 181 and a half. Again, a lot of books don't even have NFL lines out yet, which shows you the advantage here of daily grind. You're able to shop at the earliest lines come out on books. Link in the description below, you guys. Promo code TUFF. Um, link in the description below for that. But two player props, you guys. Jackie Young over 25 and a half, Nafisa over 43 and a half fantasy. Please drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.